There's definitely a huge pile of parts here. Just about all of them look pretty good. Here's a representation of the detail going on. Pretty much what you expect from modern kits. One thing to note is there are no decals in this model kit, which kind of surprised me. I figured there'd at least be some for the control panel there, or perhaps some logos for the uh, luggage and stuff. Uh, and speaking of the luggage, the uh, suitcases represented here are not included with the kit. So they probably should have left that off the painting. But uh, there are a bunch of space rifles, which is pretty cool, and some other stuff there, which all goes inside the model. I don't know if anyone's making any aftermarket parts for this that cover any of the gear that usually accompanied the chariot, like the weather stations. Uh, the drill from Season 1 was a really uh, big one that they had going on, and a whole bunch of other little stuff. The uh, treads are pretty cool. When I dig up any of the information on these and the problems they had with melting, I'll definitely annotate the video. I was kind of surprised that you get tires with this, but essentially... Uh, that's the way it goes. The tread wraps around the tires. The tires go around the hubs. The hubs go around the axles and uh, this thing should actually roll. The detail on the tire thread is uh, pretty good. Tread rather. If we can get some focus there maybe. There we go. The robot is looking pretty good. Perhaps somewhat simplified just because of the uh, size of the model overall. I'm not going to bother breaking out these clear parts here because uh, I just don't want to risk them overall, but the detailing on those is nice, and Robot here is definitely the one to check for the detailing. That's pretty good. Over here on the uh, Chariot Canopy, it looked like there may have been a scuff on the uh, clear plastic here, but I don't quite see it now. So, uh, But regardless, I don't want to risk this at all, so I'm just going to leave this completely sealed as well. You get the uh, curtains. Those have uh, moderately decent detail, I guess. That would be interesting as a cloth effect, uh, for real, but uh, that's nothing I'll bother with. The uh, inner hubs here kind of look a little soft on detail, but they are fairly small parts and probably aren't all that noticeable once they're actually installed in the model. Whereas some grading like this is fairly well done but this is something if you have some brass around uh, a lot of places will sell brass screening which is pretty much this similar pattern and you can replace that easily enough there's only one duplicate uh, sprue here and that's this one over here with the chairs and some of the or at least one of the uh, tire axle parts there I imagine all the rest of these are part of the chairs as well bottom side of the hull has some pins to hold the seats down and a bunch of holes to register where other stuff is going to go there's a lot of modeling in the plastic that's m-o-t-t-l-i-n-g not modeling but mottling that's usually a distortion caused by a problem with the manufacturing process it shouldn't affect anything but in some cases, when you go with a silver plastic and you get this effect, it will show through the paint. So that's going to be something to uh, keep an eye out for. Or at least that's been my experience with silver plastic. I'm definitely not a fan of the stuff whatsoever. White is usually best because there's no added dyes or anything to screw with any glue that you may be using later on. So, uh... Overall, definitely a nice one. It's not one that I'll be building anytime soon. It's probably bottom of the uh, list for me. I'm a fan of the show, but not quite so much a fan that uh, I'm going to rush out to build this one. So uh, if you're going to hold your breath, then uh, you might want to reconsider that for the videos coming on this one. But other than that, oh, here's one other one that I'll note. This luggage rack here is just completely warped out of shape. I imagine once it actually goes on the model, it'll kind of fit itself. But uh, redoing this in some brass, if I don't step on it here, would definitely be a nice touch. And it would certainly straighten everything out. And uh, you can see how bad it is right there. So those poor, four, uh, four pins, when they go in the top, which should actually be, 
should go on the back I should think but I don't see ah there's the registration pins let's see if uh, this will work out here I'll just try this as a quick test if the plastic will allow now yeah, I mean essentially that should flatten it out all out with no problems one thing I will mention is that when you go to paint this you'll notice that there's a lot of silver lines that go around and you can definitely mask all that off but there is some aftermarket uh, vinyl masking solutions for this from Aztec Dummy so that's definitely something to keep an eye out for if you uh, do want to go whole hog on this one if you've already spent 50 bucks on the kit you probably want to uh, spend a few more bucks and make sure that you get the paint job down really well because that's definitely going to be an important factor for this one so that's it for the chariot thanks for watching as always see ya